Hello, I'm Ken Harrell, and I'm the managing partner of the Joy Law Firm in South Carolina. If you've been disabled due to a work accident in South Carolina, in most cases, your entitlement to any monetary recovery will be capped at 500 weeks of benefits, no matter how severe your injury was. So even if you are only 35 years old and you are totally and permanently disabled due to a work accident, you will usually be receiving less than 10 years of benefits. However, under South Carolina law, there are two exceptions to this 500 weeks cap and when a person may qualify for lifetime disability benefits. These two exceptions are when the injured worker has sustained a physical brain injury or when the injured worker is deemed to be a quadriplegic or paraplegic as a result of the work accident. Now, when most people think of paralysis or paraplegic or quadriplegic, a certain image typically comes to mind. Most of us tend to think of someone who is totally paralyzed from the neck down or totally paralyzed from the waist down. However, that perception or assumption is not consistent with the medical definition of paralysis or with the way this term is used under South Carolina's workers' compensation laws. Most people who suffer from paralysis suffer from what is referred to as partial or incomplete paralysis. In fact, it is estimated that between 200,000 and 300,000 people in the United States suffer from partial or incomplete paralysis. Partial paralysis is often caused by the type of spinal cord injuries we see as a result of work accidents. There's been a test developed by the American Spinal Injury Association, which is referred to as the Asia Scale, which helps doctors in determining whether an injured person has a partial paralysis condition. If you sustain a severe injury to your spine, I would urge you to retain an experienced workers' compensation attorney to help you line up the evaluations that you may need to determine if you suffer from partial paralysis. If it's found that you do in fact have this condition, it could significantly change the value of your workers' compensation case. Let me give you an example of what I mean by that. Using a hypothetical set of facts, let's assume that we have a 35-year-old man who is totally and permanently disabled due to his work injuries. And this injured worker has a weekly compensation rate of $500. Now let's also assume that this injured worker has been paid 100 weeks of temporary total disability benefits before his permanent disability claim is resolved. That would mean that there are 400 weeks of benefits left because of the 500 weeks cap. To obtain a lump sum payment under South Carolina's workers' compensation law, we have to determine what the present cash value of the remaining weeks would be. Using the Commission's present cash value chart, the present cash value of 400 weeks of benefits would be 338.4365 weeks. Now we multiply that number of weeks by $500 and the disability recovery on this hypothetical is $169,218. Now let's take that same set of facts and let's assume again that we have a 35 year old man who has been injured on the job with a $500 compensation rate. And in this case, let's also assume that this injured worker suffers from partial paralysis. Now that would qualify this worker for lifetime disability benefits. And so we now have to look at this worker's life expectancy. And a 35-year-old man under South Carolina law has a life expectancy of 43.05 years. That works out to 2,239 weeks. If we use a discount factor, assuming what a reasonable rate of interest would be on a lump sum award, and let's say we use 4% for that interest rate, that would result in a disability entitlement of $533,000 $798, which is an increase of over $360,000 in the disability benefits entitlement based on the partial paralysis diagnosis. If you've suffered a severe neck or back injury, it is crucial that you hire an experienced workers' compensation lawyer to help you address this issue and several others, including protecting your entitlement to future medical treatment. If you would like to have more information on our law firm and our workers' compensation practice, I would invite you to visit our website at www.joylawfirm.com. Also, please keep in mind that there is never a charge for you to talk to us about your case. If we represent you on your claim, we only work on these cases on a contingent fee basis, which means we get paid only if we obtain a recovery for you. If you would like to talk with one of our workers' compensation attorneys, please call our law firm at 888-324-3100 or I would invite you to email me directly at kharrell at joylawfirm.com. I hope this information has been helpful to you. If we can assist you with your claim, please call us. Thank you.